Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel, I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So let's get straight into it. Today we have for you what German prisons do differently. This is comparing German prisons to American prisons. I'm sure a lot of people watching this probably are familiar with the common imagery, the common ideas of what the American prison system is like. It's basically like locking people in cages and throwing away the key, more or less. And it's not a great system. It's not great, but... Let's see what the German system is all about. I'm assuming it's quite different. I actually have a prison pretty close to where I live right now, and I walked past it once, and it does look very different because I also have a prison near where I lived in America, and yeah, they definitely look a lot different, but anyways, <laughs> let's hop into American it. American prisons are toxic places. Yeah. When you walk into them, you are immediately bombarded by- Yeah, look at this. This is an American prison here. It's old. It's got the scary barbed wire fences. It's just plain old, no color, no nothing, all concrete. It's just like completely just a place to lock people away. You know what I mean? By the smell, by the noise. The, lack of the other thing is a lot of them look like freaking fortresses. They look like castles, but instead of being designed to keep people out, they're designed to keep people in, but they still look like freaking castles with all the stone and cement buildings and the giant walls and the guard towers and all this kind of stuff. They look like freaking fortresses. Color on the walls. There oh yeah, is look, no color. Of Whoa. Life and the eyes of the people who are incarcerated, the people that work in the prisons. I believe that. There's little grass or trees. Yeah, you got these big giant metal doors that they slam shut and lock you away. And you just have this little tiny window that you can see out of. And that's it. And then like these hatches on the door open up and they slip you some food and stuff. And that's, that's it. That's your life. It's really pretty crazy, actually. Very little plant life. This is just... And here is like the recreational area and it's just like a parking lot basically <laughs> i mean there's no grass obviously it just looks like a parking lot and they throw up a basketball hoop and there you go have at it play some basketball that's it what the absence of life and joy can be yeah so we went to germany to understand how you can do things differently Okay, well right off the bat, it does look a lot less intimidating. This is the outside of the prison, so it's a bit different, but the walls look a lot less intimidating. The guard tower looks a lot less intimidating. This almost looks like a private airport or something. Like, that looks like air traffic control guard tower, not like a machine gun guard tower or something to They've me. They've taken the structures, the architecture. Oh, look at this. No barbed wire on the top of these walls. And look at all this green grass you got here. Interesting. They're around prisons, and they've modified Oh, a flower! And is this the inside or the outside? I mean, if this is the inside, this is quite nice looking, actually. This looks like a nice place to have a little stroll around town. You got a nice little courtyard here. It's very nice looking. And change the people inside them. They run their prisons based in human dignity and okay. organized around the principle. So is this one of the cells? This looks like, um, this almost looks like it could be like an apartment almost. They look like they have like cupboards and stuff. Like it looks almost like an apartment. Is this a cell? ...of normalization that... Whoa, artwork on the walls. That's something that you definitely don't see in American prisons. That's for damn sure. Prisons no color whatsoever. Outside community. Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is actually, this is for sure an apartment. Look at this. This is incredible. Damn, I think this is nicer than my apartment. Dude, holy crap. That's awesome. They have a full kitchen. They have a wash machine. They have some pots and pans there. A nice little table to sit at and eat. I mean, this is just like normal life. This is awesome. As much as possible. They learn that this job is about relationships. And okay. that relational safety is just as important as the security of the building. There's life. You know, people aren't afraid for their safety. We saw young people laying on the court. That's one thing that I am 
kind of questioning is in a lot of the really tough, really bad prisons in America, there's a lot of violence. And even with all the lockdowns, all the crazy amount of locking down that happens in American prisons, there's still a lot of violence and a lot of people that make weapons and find weapons. And yeah, it's, it gets crazy. And I'm wondering how a system like this in Germany would work in America for those types of prisons that have like really violent, really unstable people. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But look at this though. This is just a this is a picnic. They're having a picnic right now in a nice green park with a, a little stream or a little pond nearby. I mean that is that is awesome. Courtyard completely comfortable with wow, each other. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. You would never see that in an American prison. We saw... Oh, basketball is back. I like that. I like basketball. But look at this. The courtyard is huge here. There's so much room for activities. You can run and play and hop and skip and jump all over the place. You could even climb a tree if you wanted to. That is awesome. Young people hanging out with correctional officers wow, without look at the that. fear of surveillance. What Young a cool photo. And correctional officers playing soccer. Wow. You walk into someone's room and you can learn so much about them. They've got posters on the wall of their heroes and sheroes. <laughs> the rock! You've got TV. Yo, they got TVs in prison? That's awesome. It really is just like outside of prison life, just brought into prison but they're just not allowed to leave that area but it's not like germany takes them completely out of society and into like a little cage like a wild animal or something it's simulated life on the outside world or not even simulated it's just life on the outside world but just you have to stay in like this one kilometer radius basically you have to stay in these walls but you can do just normal life stuff that is really cool i can definitely definitely see how that would be way more beneficial and way more effective to rehabilitate people into society than the american system for sure obviously of course when you're treated like a human you're gonna act like a human you know and you've got lighters on the table because they're smoking and <laughs> it's very very different one of the things that was so striking was walking through a prison compound and you see trees and water wow. and swans they have swans it's what i don't even have swans smells like looks like and feels like Looks very nice. And this was in a maximum security prison. Maximum Germany. security it prison. tells us Holy you crap. can do this a different way. Our experiment with mass incarceration has created a uniquely American phenomenon that has prisons warehousing millions of people yeah. far away Storing from their them away. And communities. That's it. It has not worked. It no. has not made us safer. But we can learn no. from other countries like Germany, where they have systems designed around human dignity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that promote restorative justice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that ensure accountability, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and everyone is safer, happier, and healthier. And we can restore the promise I believe you. of American justice. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, wow, that was fascinating. I think that this is, like I said, a great idea and definitely way more effective than the American system. But the problem is the American system is so set in stone that I don't see it changing anytime soon, which is obviously very unfortunate. But in America, the prison system is a business. People run the prison system as a for-profit business in most cases, and as long as they're making money, they don't care about rehabilitating the people that are in prison. In fact, they don't want to rehabilitate the people that are in prison. They want to create these monsters by locking them in cages so that when they get to the outside world, they don't know how to act, and they commit more crimes, and they come right back, and then they make more money. That's their whole business. It's it's really messed up. I don't have the answers. I'm just some silly YouTuber guy on the internet, but that's what it is. But it's good to know for me though that, but for me at least, it's good to know that if I get sent to prison here in Germany for walking across the street when there's a red light, it won't be nearly as bad as in America. So that's very good. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. At any rate, that's all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. <coughs>
Check the links in the description for all of my other social media, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.